Hey, Shalom, brother. Hey, Shalom, brother. How you doing? Check it out. How about you? You under your nationality? Uh, American. Okay, you're American. Uh, what's your father? My father. Yes, sir. Uh, what's your father nationality? Oh, American. We're all American. American, uh, what? Black, American. Yeah, Black, African American. Okay, African American. Oh, okay. okay, so you know that that makes you from the tribe of Judah. And we say that because, you know, um, most of the so-called black people is going to be here at the neck of the enemy. All right? See, right. We're going to be stationed here. So that's how we know that. Now, we got remnants spread out throughout the world, you know what I'm saying? But the majority of them is here. All right? Um, what's your father? Uh, okay. What's your father? Indian. Indian. Okay. What's your father? Black. Black. Okay. What's your Indian. Indian. Okay. All okay. right. So. Hey, so what we actually teaching is our nationality, all right? So the black man don't know their nationality, right? right? <laughs> hey, we have discontinued from our heritage. So what we're going to do today is show you in Deuteronomy where it says that Moses was just speaking to the children of Israel. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because we have to just see, like, who Moses speaking to. It was not the mixed multitude, it's just the children of Israel, okay? Come on, great. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words. Which Moses spake unto all Israel. All Israel. Okay, all Israel. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and um, 7, 7, verse 6 now. To show you just how special you are to the Most High God. Because remember now, he was speaking to Israel. Okay? He was speaking to Israel. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. A special people. That's something that we don't think we are. We don't know that we're special. Right. 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 So we got to come back to this. This Bible right here was made for us. Right. Okay. Y'all have to know, man, that your nationality is right here. And we're going to get it. Yeah. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Let's find out actually why all this happened to us in the first place. Okay. Come on. Let's get it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. But it shall come to pass. Uh huh. And thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Okay. He just told us, hey, you know what? I command you to do this, that, the other. Have a um, have a beard. Have one wife. Don't um, don't commit adultery. Don't fornicate. All that stuff. Okay. But did we listen? Come on. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, that all these curses will come upon us and overtake us if we did not listen. Okay, bring it out. So let's find out whether, um, so let's find out whether we listened or we didn't. Um, have you seen slavery movies? Um, have you seen any slavery movies? Uh, Do you know about Black History? Bring it out. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go off of what you know. So, what do you know about Black History? What happened? Um, at what point? Yes. But what point? Um, you know what? Um, how do we got over here? Mm -hmm. Um, what? What? Um, what transportation? Did we come over here on a plane? Okay. Shit. All right. Deuteronomy twenty eight sixteen. Let's, let's get that. Let's get what you know. Come on. Deuteronomy. Um, and you can follow in your flyer. Just open that front flap and look right there at Deuteronomy twenty eight verse sixteen. Right there in the. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Come on, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, I want you to know that word that's Egypt is enough. What's your name, bro? Um, Robert. What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah. Y'all don't understand what he's bringing up? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat. The brother asked you what your nationality is. Why? Why is it important sure. for you to know your nationality? Where we come from? It's gonna tell you where you come from. So if I said, "What's your name again?" I'm, I'm bad with that. Rob, where do you come from? I'm Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. So what's your nationality? American. American. So your nationality is America. You come from Atlanta, Georgia. But th does that make sense? There's some. There's something that you're gonna understand about your friends that were standing here, or who you think are your friends that walked up. They said that they're Indian. Well, if they're Indian, who are these people right here that they called Indians down here? A bunch of Indians? Bring it up! Bring it up! Oh, they're Indians from India. 
there. Indians from India. Okay. Now, what is the what you, you believe in God? No. You don't believe in God. So, what, what do you believe? Uh, I believe we die, and that's it. What about you? I believe in Christianity. You believe in you? You're a follower of Christianity. You're a follower of nothing. Science. Yeah. Science. Okay. According to science, how did you get here to this earth? Um, or or humans? How did we get here? We evolved. We from evolved from what? From I think chips. From chips? We evolved from chips. How long ago? Ten thousand years ago? Twenty thousand years ago? So according to science, all right, H two O is water. H two O has always been water, right? Has that ever changed? So how come when we say we come from chimps or monkeys and we're dealing with science, we're dealing with a sperm of a chimp entering a, a wound of another chimp and eventually becoming a human being, why that still ain't happening today? We're talking about science. This science don't change. Bring it out. H2O is still water, right? Right. So why is it monkeys still turning into animals today? That is an idea and an ideology and a doctrine that has been placed on our people through this. Right. This is what happened to your people. Right. Did your people go through this? Was this by matter of science? Did science cause this? Bring it out. Did your people at one point or another rule the planet Earth? Give me Romans 15 and 4. Did your people at one time rule the planet Earth? Not sure. What do you think? Did your planet did your people at one time rule the earth? You're not sure? Yeah. Y'all in college though, right? High school? Okay. College, high school, uh, uh, middle school. These are the things that we don't learn. Right. These are the things that have us in this condition right, right now. Right. Your right. nationality is important. Right. Your nationality is not a science, it's a bloodline. Right. It's it a out. royal bloodline. Right. But because of the condition that we are here in here in America, you don't know that. Right. But guess what? Your enemies are not gonna teach you that. Right. Your friends that, that that left here right, that left standing here right now, they have a place to go. If we say go back to your land, where they where they gonna go? They're gonna go back to India. Bring it out. If I tell you, Robert, go back to your land, where you gonna go? You have no idea where to go. Right. But you have a royal man on this earth and don't even know it. Where right. is that? Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Bring it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. The Bible says whatever things was written before time, mainly speaking of this Bible, was written for our learning. Because our ancestors wrote this Bible. But here in America, we're taught that this Bible is the so-called white man's book. And right. that this Bible is a religious book for all people all over the world. Right. That, Robert, is a lie. What? This right. book was written by the Israelites for the Israelites in these last days so that we can remember who we are. Read it again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever things are written aforetime, brothers. In history class in school, do they teach you that African Americans went into slavery? Yes. But in today's time, they call it secular history. They say that all people went into slavery. Right, right. He, he, slavery is sec. That's your homeboy that just left and went down the street trying to call you right now. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it goes. Because once we start going into the history of who they are, once we start going into the history of who they are and what they people have done to our oppressors, right, what, right. Our, what them, our oppressors, have done to our people, you're gonna realize that the white man ain't the only man that put you in slavery. Right, right. The first slavery that you went into, but by the hands of those people that were standing right here by you, called the sub-Saharan slave trade. Bring it right. out. That's why the devil is calling you right now. Because you're gonna learn that, oh, these people had us in slavery too. Right. But in school, have you ever heard about the sub-Saharan slave trade? No, they don't teach that in school. They teach secular history, bro. Bring it out. Right. What we're telling you, bro, is that you're not black. Your father is not black. What color is my boots? Black. What color are you? So you ain't black? Bring it out! Black. So if you say you're African American, well, what, what, where you come from in Africa? And what part of America is in Africa? Why are you the only one on the planet called after two continents? Right. right. Have you ever yeah. thought about that? No. You know. And guess what? Your teachers aren't going to teach you that. They're not going to say that, Robert. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. 
that you have royal blood rolling in your blood, rolling right. in your veins. That this Bible was written by your ancestors and they told you all the things that were going to befall you in these last days. Read that again. Bring it out. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Bring it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So everything in this book was written so that we could learn and remember who we are. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. This is the reason why you don't understand your history. You, we say, oh, we come from Africa. Okay, well, which part? Where at in Africa? How come your history, when it's taught in school, it only goes back to Africa? This sister right here, she don't know. He ain't gonna teach her. But this is the thing, this is the thing that's happening in this world today that's keeping us in the condition that we're in. Right. We live on the bottom in this country. Right. And we accept the bottom. Right. We accept the, the, the crumbs that society throws at our, at our feet. And we just eat it up. Bring we it gotta out. stop that. Because that is not who God called us to be. Right. God called you brothers to be men on earth. It is imperative that you learn your nationality. Because it was God who took your nationality from you for transgressing God's laws in the first place. Read. Right. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself. The Bible says thou, even thyself. Who's been talking to? Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Hold that. Because even though you might not believe in God, oh, Frank, hold that. Get me Psalms chapter 14 and verse 1. Bring it out. Because, look, bro, did science create the sun? Did, 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 did science just come together and put a whole bunch of atoms together on its own and say, boom, sun? Bring it out. That's all right. Prove it. Because that, anything that you believe, you got to be able to prove, right? right? So you believe that what? By, uh, by a, a mystical force that the atoms that continue to combust over and over and over and over in the atmosphere and the sphere of the sun, you believe that that is just by just by accident? So why isn't it Supreme calling you again? Why you ain't got three or four suns all over the same planet? Bring it out! Why not? Why not? Why not have three, four, or five suns over this over this planet? Because we will burn the hell up. How come? How come According to science, there are no, there are no, there's no life reported on these other planets. Right. Bring it out. Why this? Why is it only life reported on this planet? Bring it out. Psalms 14 and 1. Psalm chapter 14, verse 1. Bring it out. The fool. The what? The fool. Don't be a fool, brother. Do not be a fool. Read it. Have said in his heart, there is no God. Only a fool will say in his heart that there is no God. All right. Like science. You just, I just proved to you. H2O has been the scientific mechanism or makeup of water since you've been, right. since people been drinking water. Right. It ain't never changed. Science is gravity. If you jump up, what's gonna happen? You're gonna come back down. That is science. All right? Science is if you plant a seed, what's gonna happen? It's gonna sprout and it's gonna grow. So why is it ain't science no more when we evolved from human when we when we when we was being uh, formulated from humans and and, he, and and chips turning into humans? But how come that stopped? Because you said that you believe that we come from chips, right? So we evolved, we sure evolved from chips. So why aren't chips still evolving today? They are. Where at? I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen a chimp evolve into a human. Right. Now, I want to know what science museum you, in, you see that at. span of a lifetime. Millions so, of why doesn't it, where where now can you report from chips evolving into humans today? It don't exist. It don't exist. It never existed. Wait, that doctrine, that doctrine is only a few hundred years old. That doctrine exists now because we have people that believe that. Right. You gotta First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Bring it out. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. So we're supposed to commit those things which are committed to our trust, which is the law of God. Grow your beard. Stop shaving that thing. That's a badge of manly dignity. Right. Cut that thing off. When you go in the damn or in the, in, in the jungle, how do you know a male lion from a female lion? Bring it out. It has a mane. Grow your beard. That shows that you're a man, not a boy, and you're not a woman. Right. Read. According 
profane and vain babbling. We gotta, pro we gotta avoid profane and vain babbling. Vain babbling is about where we come from, more evolving. Vain babbling is about uh, what they call that thing, the Big Bang Theory. These are vain babblers. Come on. And opposition of sin. Anything that opposes Bible. Right. Anything that opposes God's law. Because you didn't know what this didn't happen to us by no reason that you accident. Right. This is not designed by the hands of the most high God. Get out. There's a reason that your people are going to get God only chose one people on the earth. He chose the Israelites, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to be a special people. That's who he chose. But because we said, you know what? I don't want to believe like the other nations believe. I want to, you know what? I don't care about a nationality. Let me just deal with science so that I can do everything else that other people do. Break the Sabbath day. We can right. do these things, bro. We haven't been given, we have been given particular laws that we got to keep. This is who we are. We are the children of Israel. You got something you want to tell? Right. right well, Let me ask you a question. Hold on. You said that, that man evolved from Moses, right? We gotta go though. Listen to this. This is chapter two, verse. Um, wait for one piece. This day. Watch this. Okay. God created monkeys, right? Did God create whales? Well, okay. How did the monkey come on the earth? How did the birds come on the earth? How did the, the bees come on the earth? Burrito! Teach! So you're telling me that there's a monkey, there's dogs, there's cats, right? Are they all the same species? So where did the dog evolve from? What did the pig evolve from? Teach! So you're telling me all these creatures just came about on the earth and a human being could not come by himself either? Bring it out! I don't think they just not So how did they come? I'm not sure. I'm not exactly. Go Timothy uh, 6 again. All right, but we really got to Listen, go I'm listen, sorry. no, because you got go. foolishness in your head. Listen, Thank read. We're going to bring it out anyway. Read. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. What you're going to understand is the doctrine that these people have in their head is foolishness. Right. It makes absolutely no sense right. to say that God, that, that a monkey came on this earth and God had, you got cats, dogs, pigs, all these different animals. But a human being evolved from a damn monkey. Right. That makes absolutely no sense. Keep Timothy 6. Read that. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Go ahead. Avoiding profane and vain babbling. Avoiding profane and vain babbling. It's vain. It's senseless. Right. It's pointless. It makes absolutely no sense. Read. Right. And opposition of science, falsely so-called. It's opposition. It's like the officer brought out. It's opposition of God. Right. right. Science opposes the Most High God. Right. right. And the problem is, these brothers love their oppressor. The brothers say he don't believe in the God. Right. The brothers say he has no belief. Right. Right. Solomon chapter 1. Bring it out. He says we die and we go nowhere. Bring it out. And the Bible says a fool said there is no God. Right. Why? Because now you say that a man, you believe that a man evolved from a monkey. Bring it out. Where the hell the monkeys came from? Teach. Right. Where did you come from? Right. Teach. But then you're a high school student walking around with the other nations, your enemies, thinking that you're smarter than what you are. Read that. Oh, verse read one. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse one. Read read out. Love righteousness, ye, ye that be judges of the earth. Chapter two, chapter, chapter, two, verse one. chapter two, verse one. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not a right. Our life is short and tedious. The ungodly man, the man that believes there is no God, our lives are short and tedious. Right. Because contrary to what you think, all them brothers there is in the midst of all kind of sins. Right. right. That's why you believe in science over God. Right. Because the ungodly think their life is, is just is short and tedious. Read. And in the death of a man. In the death of a man, the brother said we die and we just die. There's nothing else going on there. Real. In the death of a man, what? There is no remedy. You don't come back. You, you, you want to die, that's what it is. Read. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. That's what they say. The ungodly says these things. No man ever returned from the grave. Read. For we are born at all adventure. Uh-huh. And we shall be hereafter 
as down we have never been. They basically say you die and you'll never come back, your memory is gone. Right. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men and women, that's not what we do. Right. That's not, that's not the spirit that's been put in us. Right. right on. For the book in our nostrils is a smoke and a little spark in the moving of our hearts. They do, they don't, they don't consider even the breath that comes out of their nostrils, read. Which being extinguished, our bodies shall be turned into ashes. They just think our bodies gonna turn into ashes, read on. And our spirit shall be turned, excuse me, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. They feel as if their spirit means absolutely nothing, it's gonna vanish as the soft air, read on. And our name shall be forgotten in time. Go ahead. And no man shall have our works and remembrance. They think their works that they're doing means nothing. Read on. And our life shall pass away as the trace of a That's cloud. the same spirit that them ungodly people have. Right. They don't want to believe in God. They want to believe in, in science because they feel their life is nothing. And what can they do? They can, what, what is that, YOLO. You only live once, so you go ahead and do whatever the hell you want to do. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.